Yo, what's going on guys, DJS here, and I wanted to bring you guys a video tutorial, kind of, on how to uh, find the closets and change clothes in uh, Dead Rising 3. It's kind of a stupid video, but actually, it's actually, I found it helpful. I ended up beating the entire game and did not know this. Uh, and the only reason why I wanted to figure this out is because there's supposedly a Mega Man outfit that you get that I hopefully I'll show you guys here uh, shortly. But basically, all you have to do is go to the safe house areas. Uh, this one was red before, now it is green, and it was right next to the parking garage, and if you go here, you clear this area, that's one thing just to note, uh, if there's zombies crawling around the ground, and it's not clear, um, it won't let you access the lockers, and you won't see those beams uh, like that, and like that. Um, once you clear it, it will say, okay, safe house is cleared, and then now you can go over, and you can go ahead and access the clothing closet. So, you can see all these saucy little outfits that I ended up getting. Uh, through the game and uh, you guys will be able to go through and unlock them and I ended up getting the Mega Man one so I'm excited uh, to, to do a video on this Mega Man outfit but the other thing is also you can go in here in the weapon locker and you can see all of the different things and use uh, look at these novelties look at the Dill Whacker ridiculous uh, I believe yeah so there's a combos right here so you can actually go in here and and grab any of the combo ones that you made uh, which was news to me. Again, I didn't know that you could do this the entire time. And you can just go in here and grab whatever uh, weapons you want. Pretty pretty crazy, man. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys find this helpful. So I recommend this for you guys. If you guys are going through the game, uh, find the safe houses on the map, dude. It, it's it's going to be essential. I'll, I'll zoom out if I can and show you. Well, actually, I haven't unlocked any of the other ones because I beat the game. And then I haven't explored the other areas. So when you do... Go to one of the four areas of the maps. Make sure you guys go check out the safe houses. It's not the areas that you spawn in. It's an area that you have to go find. And then you can go in and get the weapons, uh, lockers, and the um, the clothes thing. And then you can go in and change your clothes and grab any of the weapons that you have created. So really quite helpful. I think it's pretty crazy that uh, I didn't know about this until after I beat the game, which is quite silly but uh, regardless I'm glad I, I ended up figuring it out now because it's uh, it's pretty uh, pretty badass so um, that's pretty much it just wanted to bring you guys again a quick little video and to let you guys know so this is uh, that that's pretty much it just wanted to let you guys know how to change clothes and also you can go over here and the, to the board and check on the survivors that you guys have saved uh, along the way as well and then once you save the survivors uh, they'll end up going back to the safe houses as well. So they'll probably be in here hanging out. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Subscribe to my Let's Play channel in the description if you guys want to see me uh, fumble my my way through the entire uh, first uh, Let's Play of the game. And then uh, subscribe to this channel if you guys like the tips and tricks. Uh, I'll catch you.